Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Wow English. As you probably discovered, there are several subcategories on my channel, so I recommend you guys to look around and see what each category looks like. Today I'm going to talk about how to practice English using a method called transcribing, but together with the benefits of practicing cursive handwriting. And this video should be a lot more helpful if you check out my previous talks on transcribing techniques. So please find the links in the description below. Okay then, without further ado, let's get started. What I mean by speed here is you have to slow down to enjoy the benefits of transcribing in studying English. Compared to speaking practice, for example, this method of copying someone else's idea or writing requires more time, doesn't it? Yes, that's it. It should take more time for you to walk through the writing. You don't run or you don't rush. Take a look at mine I did one day. I was just thinking about taking off this one particular item off from my daily agenda. Please keep this in mind. Transcribing is to walk through. It should be a daily deliberate attempt. That's how you become a better writer, not to mention getting better at English overall. That being said, cursive writing is such a great method for you to achieve the speed I just mentioned. Let us then take a look at what I was doing this morning and show you some of the benefits of practicing transcribing and cursive writing. By the way, it's a kind of practicing self-discipline for me as I'm a person who is always in a hurry. Now you have the original sentence and in the video, I'm writing that sentence. It's so long, a three-line sentence, but it helps enhance your memory span. If you don't know what memory span is, please refer to my previous videos. In other words, you have two types of pressure the length of the sentence and the cursive writing that you're just beginning to learn, right? And here I was about to write a preposition as you can see at but I wasn't quite sure after all it hit me so I get the answer at but I mean without this kind of practice you become complacent and when you actually use it, you might be making mistakes, right? Transcribing is a great way to enhance your grammar, vocabulary, expressions in such a detailed manner. Paper-wise, I use this single-lined note and then other, uh, other times I also use this kind of empty paper with no lines in it. And if you are a beginner and if you want to teach your kids how to write cursive letters, I recommend and, the, and some of the experts on the internet also do. Also, they recommend three-lined uh, paper. So let me show you. Because these lines uh, act as reference points, let's write down a, a letter. And then speaking of the pens, I, just, I just use whatever pens are available. Because I'm practicing English, I'm not doing this for the sake of handwriting. 
And I have been also using uh, two or three websites ever since I started practicing this. As you can see on this website, there are capital letters, small letters, cursive letters, and how they combine together. Because connecting two letters or uh, more than two letters is really tricky. And the second website I often use is this one. And uh, when you first come here, it says uh, you need to activate Adobe Flash Player. So I just click it and allow. Here and here you have a window. You can type in your uh, letters you're not uh, really sure about. For example, let's write down that thing. Collocation. See? You can also choose letter size like this, like this. And you can also choose paper layout, whether it's landscape or US letter, A4 letter, or portrait. Okay, guys. This is uh, all I got today. I hope you all like it and I will see you next time if you have any question feel free to leave a comment bye